a little over a month ago, I was going to take my tiny little self-improvement channel, which only had 56 subscribers, and see if I could do something with it. I already had 70 videos already on there, and it only had 56 subscribers, which was kind of disappointing, really. So I decided I'm going to take this channel in a slightly different direction. Now, the channel name is Our Freedom Formula, and I went from 56 subscribers in only three weeks to 160 subscribers. Now, I can show you exactly how AI helped me get from point A to point B and how it's continuously growing. All right, so if you're interested in having a look at that, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Okay, just about to show you what I'm talking about. I'm here over at Social Blade. Now, just to show you that it's live, I'll just refresh the page and let it do its thing. Okay, so I currently have on my channel, my actual channel, I've got uh, 236 subscribers right now. And this has got to yet catch up to that. But anyway, let me show you what I'm talking about. Back on the 27th, I started, my, I started going serious on our Freedom Formula, which is this particular channel here, on the 24th. Now, I previously said that I had 70 videos already on there, which I did. And I thought, Okay, I'm going to start uploading things on Stoicism. Now, if you don't know what Stoicism is, it's an ancient philosophy that's based on being able to control only what we control. Now, I'm not going to go into all that right now, but the point is, it's a really popular topic on YouTube. And the thing is, what I did was, I was I've been studying Stoicism for a while now, and so I decided, okay, I'm going to see if I can put this into our freedom formula. And when I did, I suddenly started that I started getting some pretty good views. So I thought, okay, I'll start running with this. And I did. Now, one of the things, not only did I start getting decent views, but I also started getting a few subscribers, which made me go, okay, this is a topic that is really, really popular right now. So if you have a look down, on the 27th was, I had 59 subscribers. If you scroll down, three weeks later, I had 160 subscribers. That is a 100 subscriber jump in only three weeks. And that's pretty impressive as far as I'm concerned. So I know now that free, our Freedom Formula is going to be a channel all about Stoicism. So I, really, I literally went back through my channel and unlisted all of my previous videos and just started uploading Stoic videos. Now, that being said, how do we take AI and make that work for us? Now, I'm gonna go over here to, to show you this one. This is the latest one I just uploaded this morning, as you can see, two hours and 31 minutes ago and it is currently ranking number one. And if I show you how some of the uh, videos that I've got here, I'm just gonna to go to the content here because that doesn't show you an accurate amount of views. Now, if you have a look over here, 12 views is only just from this morning, but over here you got 1,241 views, 302, uh, 2,134 views, 616, 340. 376, 131, 153, 501, 1951. This was probably my smallest one, 79 views. Then you got 252, 623, 329, and 147. And that was just since I started uploading stuff on Stoicism. So one of the things I would highly suggest you do is research popular topics. That is the number one key to becoming successful on YouTube is making sure that you research popular topics. Now, this is a subtopic of the self-development niche. And you'll find that if you can go into a subtopic, which is really focused, one that's really popular, people will run to your channel. People will discover your channel and you will start to grow. And it will be, it will blow your mind how fast it will grow. Let's have a look at how we do this. I'm gonna go over here to chat GPT. And if you have a look over here on the left hand side, you'll see I have a lot of stuff 
on just stoicism. It started my, I started doing my stoicism research around about here. And then I started going all the way through. And as you can see, pretty much everything on here from that point on has been about stoicism. So first of all, I come up with a topic. Now what I did was I asked ChatGPT, give me a list of issues that stoicism can help with. And all of a sudden it will start bringing me a list of different things that stoicism can help with. And with that, these are literally ideas for videos that I can use. See the various types of things they're choosing to do. Find meaning and purpose, cultivating gratitude, okay. Uh, overcoming fear, well, that was one of the ones I've done recently. Loss and grief. Okay, here we go. This is a big one. So I'm just gonna copy that. And right now, I'm just gonna ask it. How does stoicism help with loss and grief? Please give quotes from ancient stoic philosophers. And all I have to do is hit enter and let it do its thing. Now you watch this. I'm gonna pause the video until it's finished. Okay, so this is essentially giving me the rough outline as to what I'm gonna be doing for my video. So this one here says, accept the natural order of life. Do not seek for things to happen the way you want them to. Rather, wish that what happens happens the way it happens. Then you will be happy. Epictetus. Epictetus is a philosopher. This quote emphasizes the importance of accepting natural course of events, including loss of loss and death, rather than resisting or wishing for them to be different. Acceptance helps us find peace in the face of inevitable changes. Now we can also take this and we're going to put this in here and we're going to maybe say with this point, please give me more information about then i'm just going to put that there and finish that off please make it sound compassionate okay and we just have hit enter and see what it comes up with the quote by certainly the quote by Epictetus highlights the compassionate wisdom of acceptance the natural order of life it invites us to embrace a mindset that acknowledges the inherent unpredictability or of existence and encourages us to let go of our desires for things to happen according to our personal preference. Okay, so as you read through, you can actually choose to keep and take what you want out of this. And I would literally, from this, I would copy what I've got here and then I would break it up into sections like this. I'd go take this section here, do what I just did then and then I would read through all of this and take what I want out of this. And then I would put all of this into a Word document. Then once I've got this entire script cre created and fleshed out to the way I want, I usually do around about between 15 to, to say 1800 words. That's when I go over here to pictory.ai. And then I add the script straight into here. I'm gonna to go to my last one I've just put in and we'll go over here and it actually creates the video for you, as you know, if you have watched any of my previous videos. So as you go through here, you can actually see this. Now, make sure that when you do do this, that you find a topic that is popular and make sure it's something you're actually passionate about. Because I have been studying Stoicism for a while now. And because I've been studying Stoicism for a while, it was a true interest of mine. And that just makes it much more easier for me to be able to make videos about it because I am genuinely interested in what I'm creating. Like I'm genuinely interested right now in what I'm creating for you. I'm also genuinely interested in stoicism, which allows me to walk more calmly and peacefully in my life, even under stressful circumstances. So because of that reason, I'm passionate about it. And I also stumbled across a topic that is incredibly popular on YouTube right now. Now, I would strongly suggest go through various topics around the, on YouTube and find ones that are very specific. Now, another thing I did was I went through past videos of other people on stoicism. Let's go over to my channel. Let's go over to my YouTube channel for one moment. 
And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to highlight, I'm going to look up the word Stoicism and we'll come up with some of the actual channels and let's see if you can see a very similar sort of theme to the thumbnails. So let's go over here and see what we can find. We go ancient history, no. Okay, so I'm going to type in here Stoicism. And we'll come up and see what it comes up with. We'll have a look at all the actual thumbnails as well. Okay, so as you can see here, you have an image of a statue and a dark background. Go through here, an ancient philosopher, another one with an ancient philosopher, another one with a picture of an ancient philosopher, and so on. And it all seems to be, except for a couple, they mostly seem to be dark backgrounds. Even this one is a brown dark background, which fits the topic of stoicism quite well. And if you look at this, they all have dark backgrounds. I originally did it with my orange and gold background, which is what I normally do with my previous channel. So I normally had that because I thought it stood out, but it didn't really work for this particular channel. So allow me to show you very briefly all of the ones that I have on my current channel. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to show you the difference. Okay, so as you can see, I have an image of this gentleman here who's named Marcus Aurelius. And I have him on all of my thumbnails. Now, as you go through, you can have a look at them. Now, if you look down here, you'll see I've got the orange and yellow theme that I normally have on this particular channel. Now, I found that that didn't really work overly well. But the moment I put a black background on the back of these thumbnails, it just made everything pop. And it really, really caused it to stand out. And as you can see, they're getting de decent views. So it matched the theme quite well because Stoicism also talks about temperance which means self-control and also doing things in moderation. Now, that would be a very calm and very straightforward way of doing things. So, of course, having a black background or a dark background fits the theme very, very nicely. So, as I said, once I have created my script, I then place that into Pictory. And what I've also learned to do is when I go through it, I choose not to put the words on the screen. People seem to prefer that. I prefer, they prefer not to see the words on the screen, but only put, what I also do is I do put things like this on here. I put, I keep my theme right here, but I then place headlines and quotes into here so people can read it. And I created this on PowerPoint and just took a photo of it, took an image of it, and then placed that in here. And I can download that all in the visual section of here in the, in the My Upload section of Pictory. And these are the only areas where I actually have words. If I was to choose another image, you'll see there is absolutely no words. Oh, hang on, wrong one. If I choose an image, if I choose a background, you'll see there's absolutely no words here. And if you go through and anything that doesn't require a quote, unless it's a direct quote or a headline like this one here, this is a headline. So unless it's a direct quote, I tend not to have words on there unless I'm like, for example, use discipline of ascent. This one here, I do put the words on the screen because it's highlighting a point. But outside of that, I don't have it. It's just the video itself. As you see, I put the, the main title of that particular point on the screen and everything below that, unless it's a quote, doesn't have words. It just continues to be blank and it only has words when you come across the actual quotes themselves. All right, guys. If you got some value out of this video, have you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel using AI. All right, now just to let you know that right here is a video I believe you might like. 
Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now, if you click on that, you should be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And bye for now.